If you're interested in new construction communities around the area of Palm Beach Gardens, Florida, well then this video is for you. Uh, we're going to be exploring a new community which you might have heard of. It's one, going to be one of the biggest communities in uh, Palm Beach County, Avenir. Today we're going to look at Watermark and Wingate. Welcome to Avenir. My family and I relocated here to Palm Beach County, Florida about 15 years ago now, and we haven't looked back. One of the uh, things I really uh, love to do, and it truly is an honor, is I help families do exactly that today. So if you're thinking about moving here to the Palm Beach County or South Florida areas, area, please reach out to me. Down below here is, a, is my email address. That's one way you can get a hold of me. Uh, or you can go to my YouTube channel in the About section. Uh, there's my, my phone number. You can call that number or text that number. Or last but not least, uh, in the description or the comments section down below, there's a link. Click on that link and we can schedule a time to sit down uh, either through Zoom or over a phone call and discuss any questions you might have about Palm Beach and what it might take to relocate to this beautiful part of the country. Avenir is located in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida, and when all is said and done, they expect to have a total of 3,900 homes here. If you're looking for a new construction community in Palm Beach County, one in which you can get in early, well, if that's the case, this is one I would definitely consider. As more and more builders enter this space, currently there are only three builders active in this community. In this video, we are going to focus on the communities owned by Toll Brothers, which are Wingate and Watermark. First up, we have Edmonton Boca Raton. This model is part of the Wingate collection. Here at the sales center, they have a total of three models in which you can view, but in total, they have a total of six models or six floor plans to choose from. This model has three bedrooms. It has a study. It has two full baths, one half bath, a one two car garage, and 2,705 feet under air. In general, the homes here in the Wingate collection they're going to cost a little bit less than the homes that we will see in the Watermark collection. The standout with this home is here, the formal dining room. I have known people that literally buy a home just based upon their dining room table and the formal dining room. If that's you, and that's the case, then this home is for you. The base price of this home is $736,000, and um, that's just for the home itself. If you wish to buy a home like this, you have to also put aside money for the lot of land. Today we will visit the three models they have on site. This one is the smallest of the three. Stick around to the end, because at the end we will show you the largest of the three models they have at site. If you haven't already done so, please go ahead and smash that like button. What that'll do is that'll help to get more people to watch this video and help people from around the world come relocate to this beautiful part of Florida. This is outdoor living at its finest. What drives me crazy if I see builders who don't do an elaborate job like they've done here, it, it, they're doing it themselves a disservice. A lot of people come, move here, and consider moving here from the north, and these are the type of things that they consider when moving to Florida.
What many builders are doing these days, and here we are August, September of 2021, is they're not offering these homes with pools. And the reason being, it slows them down. The builders want to keep cranking out homes and the building of the pool sometimes delays the closing. So if you want to buy a pool, you'll have to do it after closing. Here is a great example of how construction is just beginning here. As always, when visiting a new construction community, is it important to either come with your realtor on the very first visit or at the very least have your realtor sign you in. Each builder treats it differently, but to protect yourself, have your realtor there on the very first visit. Um, what can potentially happen is if that doesn't happen, the builder in lots of cases will not allow you to have that realtor represent you going forward. And what you want is you, when looking at new construction, is you want independent representation. When you go into their sales office, you're speaking directly with the sales consultant and you're, you're essentially speaking to the seller directly. So I highly recommend getting independent representation. And the best way to do that is to make sure you bring your realtor on the first visit or at the very least, especially if you're, reloca if you're relocating from another area, you can have him, him or her sign you in with the builder directly. What does it cost for you to have independent representation with the realtor? Well, actually, out of your pocket, nothing. Uh, it's the builder who pays us. So when it comes to uh, us as realtors representing you, uh, the builder pays us, and you don't have to pay anything towards us out of your pocket. Next up, Torrance and Tillets. This home is a little bit larger. It has a total of four bedrooms, it has a study, it has a loft, it has three full baths, has three car garages, and it's a total of 2,866 feet under air. Both of these communities, Wingate and Watermark, they are all age communities. Toll Brothers also has a 55 and over only community by the name of Regency here at Avenir. The base price of this home starts at $772,000. Again, that's just for the home itself. The lot of land is sold separately and the pricing on that depends on where it's located. As an example, if it's located on a lake, typically the cost of that lot is more. Let's go check upstairs. Many of the homes in new construction, especially on the higher end, have lofts upstairs on the second floor. The amenities here at Avenir, well, they're killer. And they're quite affordable as well. Because there are so many homes here, as I mentioned earlier, about 3,900, the cost is spread over that many homes, making the HOA very affordable at currently $211 a month. Many of the lakes, or they're better called actually ponds, because that's really what they are, they are man-made here. And do they have alligators? I'm asked that all the time. The answer is, in many cases, yes. Because after all, this is Florida. This community is a CDD community, which means they will have a portion that will, you will have to pay extra that will be part of your tax bill. Each community has a different CDD, and each community has a CDD that that's, the length of time is, is different for each community. If you have any questions about that, please reach out.
another killer backyard. Um, as you can see here, they have fake grass. I find a lot of new communities are using this. It's sort of like AstroTurf. The build time for any of these homes ranges somewhere in the area of 14 to 15 months. The process for buying a new construction home in Palm Beach County is constantly evolving. This community in particular at this time does not, I repeat, does not have an auction process like others do these days around Palm Beach. So the last model we will check out today is the Jennings Coastal. This home has a total of four bedrooms, a study, a bonus room, three to four bedrooms, a half bath, a three car garage, and it's under 3,758 square feet. One thing I can appreciate in this model is the grand entrance and the high ceilings. This model is their most expensive model. This model, the base price starts at $992,000. Let's talk about the size of these communities. Watermark will have a total of 211 homes. Windmark, a total of 201. Currently, there are 98 left available at Watermark and 119 in Wingate. So both communities are approximately about 50% sold, and the builder has released two-thirds of their homes. One of the things I like about this community is the location. It is located in the western part of Palm Beach Gardens, so it's not as congested, at, congested as you have in the eastern part of the, uh, of the city, um, but it's close enough to all the things that they have to offer in, um, in Palm Beach Gardens, such as their restaurants, Midtown, Downtown at the Gardens, and the Gardens Mall. Let's go check out Upstairs. The lofts in these homes are very useful, especially with a larger family. It sort of acts as a second living room. One of the things I like about buying a new construction home is many come with smart home features which is great because if you buy a pre-existing home, um, even one as recent as five years old, um, they lots of times will not have it. Another thing I like about this location is it's located in the northern part of Palm Beach County. Northern Palm Beach County, in my opinion, has some of the nicest beaches on the east coast of the United States. Beaches such as Juneau Beach and Jupiter Beach. Here's another example of the beauty of having a magnificent entrance. Once again, let's check out outside. Of the three pools they have here at the models at Watermark, this one is my favorite.
So in general, the homes here at Avenir, well, they're, they're on the higher end in Palm Beach County. If you're not sure if this is a home you can afford, I have connections with many local lenders and they can help get you pre-qualified and figure out what you can afford given your budget. So let's take a walk down Model Row. So at the end of every uh, community, at the end of selling out the community, these homes will be the last home sold. One day, these will actually be home sold to a, to a lucky buyer. Uh, in general, when you buy a model from a new construction builder, they're going to be more money because the upgrades that they put into these uh, model homes are just off the charts awesome, and many times they're decked out compared to the average home in the community. My prediction is this will be the last home sold in this community. As you can see, while there are not many, some people have already taken up residence in this community. Watermark and Wingate, two of the earliest sets of communities in the larger community of Avenir. Avenir, it's just the beginning. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you took value out of this uh, video and the communities that we, uh, we are showing here. Uh, in a couple of seconds, you're gonna see a couple of things pop up. Over here, you're gonna see a circle with my face in it. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, that is a great way to subscribe to my channel. And over here is another video. This video is of Palm Beach Garden as a whole. I hope you get a chance to check that one out. And I look forward to seeing you all on the next one.